Hey, what's up tech fan? So, all right, we actually got our second non-Founders Edition GTX 1080 Ti. That's right, man. This one right here. And it's kind of weird though, is that my AMD board is also an Aorus. Aorus, I don't know exactly how they're saying that, but Aorus. So I could stick this in my AMD board. They match up, they'd be all matchy matchy. But anyways, here it is. Now, this card's got a lot of cool features, man. Three plus three on the fans, the wind force copper direct to the GPU and all the components so it stays really cool. Extra dissipation for the heat throughout the card. It's got this really cool thing called VR link, which is like basically two extra, that's right, two extra connections for your monitors or whatever, how it's exactly going to come into play. I'm not sure, I guess we'll know when we get into a system. Also has 12 plus two power phasing stuff, so you know that everything's gonna run the same all the way across the board. So if you don't really know what that is, power phasing, it's how the electricity is actually brought on to your video card. So it's kind of like a conditioning type thing. So if electricity is erratic, it actually wears your car down a lot faster. So if you have spikes high and low, wears your card out way faster. So having those type of features, make sure that your card's going to be, you know, running for a long time, it's gonna be running stable. So I got the box right here in front of me. Like usual, like almost every other product out there, guess what this card has? No fucking way, RGB. Yeah, because pretty much everything has RGB. For those of you who are really into the box, here's the front of the box. I'll flip it around to the back just real quick so you can see it. There's nothing really too much about the box. You guys want to know what comes into it. So if you're really all of that into it, I mean, here is the actual nomenclature of the box. And then that's pretty much it. Let's just pop the cap. Maybe that might be a little bit difficult for me to do that angle and pull over here. Pop the cap here, we'll pull the box out. Box is in a box, the old boxception thing, which never seems to end. Alrighty, we'll set that off to the side. Jet Man, I know you guys like me to throw this with the cameraman, but I think he's had it. He's like, don't be throwing shit at me, brah. It's not cool, not cool. So here's the box for you guys who are into that type of thing. I mean, I know I like a good type box. All right, so here we go. Check it out. First off on top, we've got something in a nice container. Inside, what is inside of this? I don't know. How the fuck should I know? Let's open it up and see. So, all right, we've got a case badge. So if you want to promote Gigabyte and the Elris, you can do it with this little case. Pump your shit, brah. That's right, I'll set that off to the side. What else is in here? All right. Well, I don't see any driver in here. Not that you really need it, uh, but there's this. And let me take a look at that myself real quick. So what is that? Oh, okay, it's just telling you about the a that, that Aorus VR link that I was telling you about. So I know you guys hate if I, re if I read stuff off of it, but I mean, I'm learning this card. I just got it myself. So basically the Asus VR link offers the most flexible VR friendly output connectivity with one front facing and two rear native HDMI ports. So there you go. So beyond that, what else do we got? We're looking for other accessories. That's kind of weird. This thing looks like it's peeling off. Trippy, look at that. That's kind of weird. All right. And uh, ha, look at that. That actually looks kind of trippy too in itself. Look at that. The entire thing's all custom, custom, baby. All right, set that off to the side. So what do we got here? All right, I got one of those on that side. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, it's the usual thing, you know. Two six pins to an eight pin power connector. I'm not even gonna bother taking out of the bag. You guys know exactly what the heck this thing is. We've seen them in tons of boxes, which hopefully we're only gonna see a single eight pin connector on here. Maybe an eight and a six, but I don't know. Let's keep going. So, all right, so, whoa. Hey, okay, this thing's fucking heavy too, man. I gotta say that right at the bat, folks. You guys talk about card sag? Wow, all right, this thing's heavy. Let me get this out of the way. So let me go ahead and take the card out of the plastic bag. And I don't know why, but uh, this card to me does not seem like a totally new card. I wonder if this card was like a recycled one or something. I don't know, but all right. So let's start off the front of the card. Really cool Windforce design. The colors are a little bit weird, orange and black. I don't know if I'm really too into that. It seems kind of pumpkin-y and kind of Halloween-y. That to me particularly is kind of a turnoff. I don't really like that shit. I prefer if it's a blue or a red or something like that. How many honestly builds are we gonna see that are fucking made like a Halloween pumpkin? I don't really think that many. But anyways, still, you got three fans in the front. You got the nice X, all that good stuff. Nice looking card. Now the outputs on this card are slightly different than your average duck. You have three display ports, two HDMI, DVI, but then on the very back side of the card, or the rear of the card rather, you can see there's an additional HDMI port. And that is what they're calling their VR link. So it's kind of interesting how exactly it'll work. We'll bring you guys in the full review. Today's just the unboxing and checking out the card. So we'll move on. 
Down at the bottom, you guys can see the PCIe connection. That's what you actually plug into your system. For those of you who've never actually seen a video card unboxing before, I think most of you have. Now, down below this card, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a lot of cooling stuff. Huge cooling apparatus on this card. Like I said before, this card features a direct copper connection against everything. All of your connections, your actually your GPU itself, everything has a direct copper connection. This helps dissipate the heat a lot from the card. You guys can also see that we have one, two, three, four heat pipes running throughout the card along with all those heat fins. So just a lot of things going on to dissipate the heat away from this card. And that's good for overclocking. And here on the bottom, you guys can see even more evidence of the giant cooling apparatus on this card. Now we flip the card around to its other side. You guys can see that there are two eight pin power connections to power this card. Now they recommend a minimum of 600 watt power supply and the card does draw 320 watts from your power supply. So be aware of that. And when I flip the card around the other direction, you guys can see that there are two SLI fingers here. So for those people out there wanting two SLI builds, up to four of them, this card uh, has the potential to do that if you want to go crazy, crazy. Now, last but not least, we see the back. And like all the cards that are killer these days, it comes with a freaking badass back plate. Badass. Crunch that sucker. You can see there's a copper vent right here. This also helps to dissipate the heat away from your card. So not only is your heat being dissipated all around the card, it's also coming out the back as well for the ultimate in cooling that you can get with air. And if you're wondering, hey, Elrock, how do I know if this damn thing will even fit in my freaking case? Well, you need to make sure you have a clearance of 293 millimeters to make sure it'll fit inside your case. And if you're wondering, hey, man, what are the dimensions? This card size in at 11.54 inches by 5.59 inches and features a dual slot design. One thing very interesting I have to say though about this card is it features two different modes. It features its core clock, which is already overclocked, and the boost clock. Now there are two different speeds in the core clock mode. The OC mode is 1594 megahertz and the gaming mode is 1683 megahertz. But they also have a boost clock mode. And in the boost clock mode, the OC mode is 708 megahertz and the gaming mode is 1569 megahertz. All right, folks, so there you have it. The unboxing first look and first hands-on of Gigabyte's Aorus GTX 1080 Ti. Now, right off the bat, some things I have to say are kind of weird. Why it only came with one of these is beyond me. Since there's two 8-pin power connectors, two of these should have been included in the box. Only having one of these kind of really makes no sense. Either include both of them that you need or don't include any, as, any at all. Now, another thing I don't really like about the card is I really don't like this color scheme. I'm just going to be honest with you, the orange and the black. Let me hear what your opinions are down below, but me personally, I'm not really a fan of that color scheme. Now, as far as the features go, though, features are pretty damn solid. The card is built very, very well. All of its cooling and everything is probably going to be able to gain you a lot of overclocking room, especially the headroom for the card. The cooler the card runs, obviously, the better the boost runs. You guys who follow NVIDIA stuff, you know that. The cooler this card can get, the more overclocking headroom that it has. The hotter it gets, the more it goes downhill. But I'm Elric. You guys are watching Tech in tomorrow. We'll have the full reviews of both these cards next week. Mr. G, the cameraman, is off to see his family for a week, so we'll have a few days of downtime. But as soon as we come back, we'll have all the full reviews of both this, the Amp Extreme, and the other card that we have surprisingly in-house for you folks. So stay tuned to Tech in tomorrow. We'll have more tech for you literally tomorrow.